Tretch, Tretch is an, an opportunist, you know what I mean, to start, which is him so we can get him out the way because he's like the least important in this. He's an opportunist. And after Pac died, you know what I mean, even when Pac was with the death row shit, he started to come back around Pac on some best friend shit when, you know, Pac wasn't really fucking with him like that. And it, it stemmed over some shit that happened at the comedy club back when um, Above the Rim was about to come out. Well, <sighs> Tretch got <coughs> Tretch got fucked up. He got... <coughs> Pop just happened to be with him. Because <coughs> there was some shit that happened at this uh, convention called the Gavin Convention in Louisiana months before that, months prior to that, to where Tretch and his crew beat up one of my partners from my neighborhood. And just so happened my partner from my neighborhood was down there at the Gavin with I Smooth 7 and Eminem, because they was on web entertainment at the time. And, um, you know, he was moving around with them. So he ended up getting into it with them at the bar. He by himself, of course, you know, naughty by nature, they had 100 niggas with him. They jump on him, hit him with the chain and all that sort of shit. My boy ended up uh, getting 40000 from them niggas. He a nigga from the hood, but, you know, he on some business shit, you feel me? So he's basically a civilian that's connected to the right motherfuckers, and they shouldn't have fucked with him, you feel me? So the story, you know, when he got back home, it is what it is. The naughty by nature nigga is, nigga got to see him, man. Like I was telling the other nigga, you know, niggas in Hollywood and on the TV, they're the easiest to, to get, you know what I mean, next to her. You got a problem with them, we know how to find you in L.A. So it was like, you know, as soon as the nigga see Tretch or any one of the naughty by nature niggas, it was on. So they happened to see some niggas in the club and Pop just so happened to be with them. So they, you know, done what they were supposed to do. They got on the niggas' heads. You know, Pac stood tall. Tretch got fucked up immediately. He didn't get a chance to run or do nothing. But his DJ, he ran. You know, but Tretch, he got knocked out. Pac, he was fighting with four niggas, you know what I mean, or whatever. And, of course, if you're fighting with four niggas, you know what I mean, ain't no telling what happened. You know what I mean? But ain't nobody Superman, so use your imagination. The point is, Pac was standing at the hotel next to the comedy store. He didn't leave and go nowhere. Tretch went back to fucking Jersey and left him there. So Pac, you know, being a nigga he is, he wanted to find out who the niggas he was, was you know, that he knew who they was, but he wanted to contact them so he could squash the shit. And he did, you know what I mean? He got with them and went to the hood with beer and, you know, they love Pac, you know, to this day. You know what I mean? Because the nigga was solid, but Tretch, you know, he, he he was displeased by Tretch going back to Jersey. You know what I mean? Tretch was jealous of him because he, he went out for the part for Bishop and Pac got it. And, you know, motherfuckers just young and getting money. Everybody got record deals. Him, Biggie. And Pop, Tretch, Vicky, and Pop, of course, you in the same city. One nigga's getting all the parts. One nigga's on the radio all the time. He ain't from there. Nigga's gonna be hating on him. So, I mean, it's just obvious, man. We all human. You know what I mean? He, he, uh, he, he let him come around to see him ball and shit in the death row days and was cordial with him in the club. But I can remember Tretch coming around. And Pop like, man, don't fuck with him. You know what I mean? This nigga, this, that, and the third. How do I know the story? I didn't hear it from Edie. I didn't hear it from Napoleon. Everything that I'm saying, I was young and inquisitive. I asked Pac. I was around Tupac. So I asked any and everything, especially when I figured out that this nigga was lacing me with game, that he was, you know, actually going to answer me in the manner that I was asking. Nigga, I never stopped asking them shit, especially about the niggas that was around. 